here and today we have the Hasbro exclusive Optimus Prime and Bumblebee Transformers Legacy Evolution so here it is and here is the box cover and it is pretty cool on the side we have Leo Prime which is pretty cool uh, Nemesis some type of Junkions on the back, we have all of it together. Everything that comes with this. On that side, nothing. On the top, Optimus Prime and Bumblebee. So let's just get this out of the box so we can take a look at what we got. So, it comes with instructions. Uh, warning page and uh, yeah these instructions seem like they're gonna be big yeah these are some big instructions with a lot of paper so here we go there's all the instructions there's the instructions for B. And on the other side, the instructions for Optimus Prime. So there we go. Now, if anybody else has gotten um, the Transformers Nemesis Prime Legacy, let me know in the comments if it came with his rifle because mine didn't and it doesn't seem right that it didn't so let's cut this out of the box so yeah don't forget every Sunday you can watch me live uh, at 8 o'clock p.m. with the children of Primus we do interviews and Transformer discussions all the time. So if you're into that kind of stuff, come take a look. Also, if you are a Transformers channel and you would like to do an interview with me, feel free to mention that in the comments. That'd be great. Uh, I love interviewing people. Unfortunately, my last interview I had to take down, um, but that's okay. Um, we'll keep plugging through and we'll keep doing interviews. So. We got all this out of the box. We can get rid of this. And, uh, yeah. And also, don't forget, if you are interested, in, uh, I have a Patreon. Uh, you can join and you will get early uh, access to some of the stuff that I'm doing, especially the stop motion stuff. And if you want to... There are my t-shirts right up there and if you're interested in any of those t-shirts, please get a hold of me as well So back to this stuff. All right, so Hasbro likes to use their paper now Well, something dropped a lot of things dropped. There we go. We got lots of stuff so I think that's it. There's nothing else in this paper. And uh, there's Roller. And I don't know what this is for. Not yet. But let me move the camera down so we can see everything. So here is Op Optimus Prime's gun. And it says that you can store it on the back of Optimus Prime like this. You also get his axe, which you can also store just like that. And for B, underneath there's a slot where you can store that gun as well. 
So I'm not too sure what this piece is for, but we'll figure it out. So here on the trailer, we can lift that up. And there we go for the trailer. And um, not too bad. Let's take a quick, quick look at B. So there B is. It's not quite a Volkswagen though, which I really wish that it would have been. Um, and everything is plastic. It is very plastic. But there's B and here is Prime. There's an extra gun here. I just found an extra gun. I wonder if that's for B2. Probably is. But yeah, here's Prime. Let's take this stuff off so you can take a look at him. There you go. There is Optimus Prime. All right, so let's take a look at the trailer since that's what everybody probably wants to see. It does open up and B fits in there barely. Barely fits in there. So let's open this up. Oh, here's uh, another box that we do not need. And here is. I don't even know what you want to call this guy. The little fixed spot. Um, but it has the satellite and it does have the pincher arm, which is pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool. So now that we got all this done and we looked at all these pieces, we're going to figure out what they are for. So before we do that, I'm going to have you take a quick little break and look at my commercial giveaway and we'll be right back. So if you want a chance to win one of these guys, all you have to do is like and subscribe and you could win either Mr. Optimus Prime and he's got a blaster or large sound wave with his own Ravage or a little sound wave with his little Ravage. And again, all you have to do is like and subscribe, watch a video and also if you want a second chance. Uh, you can like and subscribe to the Children of Primus right there. So, back to the video. Alright, and we're back. So, I figured out what this is for, but we're going to have to wait. So, you things you can do. So, you can, if you fold all this back up... I'm not going to close it all the way. You can have roller attached right here. So he can pull the trailer, have roller things do. But let's open this back up real quick. And you can take this off and also attach it to roller as well. Um, Just like that, and you can have that attached to roller as well. Let's just close all that back up. And you can also have everything on here attached. Oh, I hate when that happens. I absolutely hate it. So, you can have this like that. And you can store all this stuff uh, in the trailer. And I will show you that in just one second. So, this axe. So the axe goes on here on this side. Um, 
just like that. And then you can put uh, this gun. in here like that and this little gun will fit right beside it you have to have real small fingers for this but we'll get it in there we'll get it in there just give me one second if I can pick it up <laughs> But you know this is the fun about opening a new toy. You get to do it. All right. One more try, and if I don't get it, we'll move on. I'm trying to keep the videos shorter. I don't know if you guys actually like that or not, but you can either leave a message or join my Patreon and let me know. So there we go. That's all done. And then this shield. It says it goes on as well. I believe. Yeah, just like that. So there you go. You have the shield. And you have a roller. Optimus Prime. there you go so another thing you can do with the trailer is you can have it all closed up turn it all the way around and you can just hook it on to Optimus Prime now I'm pretty sure There's got to be a way. Like I see this post here. I'm one. I'm wondering, because that just doesn't fit right. I'm wondering if you need this piece right here to go on Optimus Prime. Yeah, you do. So you need that piece to go on Optimus Prime to actually have it fit onto the trailer properly. So there you go. And you can do all that. And I'm pretty sure you can store. We can get this open. Bumblebee. Now let's open this up and see what's happening. You can store Bumblebee. I guess he has to go the other way. And Roller. In here at the same time yep you can just like that and there you go the only thing is is you can't fit that in there as well so let's take all this apart and open the trailer back up let's get roller out let's move this up and over like so so it's nice and displayed we'll put this piece back in here and I believe that maybe you don't need this piece for roller no you don't need them so let's put this back just like that and we'll get to transformation of Bumblebee first. So, we're just going to put the instructions back here. And hopefully, we can get this done without any problems. So, I'm just going to move this down some. So, the first thing it wants us to do is take out this gun right and 
lift up these panels. These panels right here. We're going to lift them up. And then we're going to untab this. And bring it out. Untab that and bring it out. And those will form his hands. Um, next thing we're going to do is hold out the feet. We're just going to take them and bring them down like this. Then we're going to lift that all the way up and it'll snap into place like so. We're going to take all this. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Lift that piece up. And move all this back to reveal B's head. And I'm not too sure. Oh. Hasbro and its ball joints. Hasbro and its ball joints. And of course, all it wants to do is fold in on itself. And there goes the other arm. You know what? We need the tool. Where's the tool? The trusty cheater to tool. We need that. Where are you? Okay. So, this is all out. And. We can get this back on. See, this takes up a lot of time of the videos. And I really don't like that. I really don't like that they don't make these joints tight enough so that they don't fall apart and fall off. It's not right. Hasbro needs to do better. Better for the price that we pay for things. Okay? Either drop some lines and focus on something. Or just let it go. Let it completely go. So again, all this... Will hold together, and there you have Bumblebee, and you can give him his gun. Now, I'm not too sure because it doesn't say in the instructions here, I don't understand it whatsoever, but oh, that's a real tight fit. There you go. Like, I don't get why it wants you to do that, to bring these back in like so, but that's what it is. So there's B in his robot mode, and here we'll take a better look. He does have the G1 Bumblebee face, which is cool. Here's the side view, the back view the other side and that's about it his arms do move on the ball joint and elbows do bend his hands are fixed his legs can move and do the splits and kick and that's about it for B so we're gonna put B to the side we'll get roller back in frame so let's transform Optimus Prime Turn the instructions over. So, first thing it wants us to do is pull the legs down. Um, separate the arms like this. And you can rotate them to where they're supposed to be flip out his fists 
if they haven't already. Um, it wants us to move this all the way up, like so. That way we can now spin the whole body around, lift it up, and flip this panel back to flip out his head, which is very difficult to do. Good thing we have the Cheetor helper, which might not get his head out this time. Bear with me, folks. Bear with me. That I'm gonna have to switch to something more solid. There we go. So there we go. We have Prime in his robot mode. Oh, forgot to split the legs. But yeah. So there he is. There's Prime in his robot mode. So here he is, we'll take a look at him up close, there's his head, his chest, his legs, his hands, and of course the back, which isn't very pretty, but you know, for something this small, they don't want to spend a lot on engineering. So we can come back here, and of course we can give you his blaster and of course we can grab this out and just move the hand in and give him his axe so yeah all in all it's a cute little set um something that I will display in vehicle mode but not robot mode and here's a comparison to the same toy the exact same toy but this is the nemesis prime a legacy ne nemesis prime and there you go that is all we got for today so don't forget Subscribe to my channel, subscribe to my Patreon, all the links will be below. And uh, as always, this is Freakenstein saying, keep playing, Freakenstein, out.